Hello, Anna here with Liberated Yoga. I have chosen the word liberated quite on purpose. To me, yoga means liberation from suffering. And physical suffering certainly falls into that category. Our society struggles with chronic pain. And uh, latest research has some interesting findings for us to consider. People with poor body awareness, for example, seem to suffer from chronic pain more, and the poorer their body awareness is, the greater their suffering. And so in my yoga practice and teaching, I have been lately focusing on some yoga skills to help you raise your body awareness and hopefully alleviate some of that suffering from chronic pain. These skills are breath and movement coordination, selective engagement and selective relaxation, playing with the edge, knowing when to stop, when to go a little bit further, feeling sensations and recognizing them for what they are, coordinating left and right sides of the body well. When I say your right arm, you can tell which one is your right arm. And this is actually the one I struggle with the most, believe it or not. Maybe I'm a little bit dyslexic, I'm not sure, but uh, coordinating right and left and cueing this in my classes has been a continuing challenge for me. And then finally mirroring, sort of monkey see, monkey do, being able to replicate a visual image into an actual physical experience. I offer for your consideration yet another liberated yoga signature move that together with my students we have decided to name the spiraling spider. I will cue right and left sides. I recommend that you watch it first and try and practice your mirroring skills while you're at it as well. Let's see how you do. Sit on the floor in the z sit, folding your legs to the left. Your right shin should be in front, and your left shin should be to your side. Turn over to your right and bring your hands to the floor in front of your right thigh. And then lengthen forward, sliding your hands along the floor until you get as close to it as possible. And then roll over from here onto your back, and then windshield wiper your legs to your left side, and then roll up to sit so your left shin is in front. And then you can sweep your left arm over sideways to your right. And now we're going to go in the other direction. Bring your hands to the floor in front of your left thigh. Lengthen down and roll over to your right side. Take your legs with you. Roll up vertebra by vertebra or sit up, walking your hands in. Your right shin should be in front again. And then you can sweep your right arm over sideways to the left. I hope I've confused you enough. Moreover, I'm going to switch my orientation to the camera. Once again, follow the instructions. Hands in front of your right thigh. Roll out onto the floor and onto your left side. Come up to sit with your left shin in front and then sweep the left arm over sideways to your right. Then roll out onto the floor with your hands reaching over to the left. Transition to the other side, roll up, and reach your right arm over sideways to your left. I'm going to turn around one more time. And now we're facing the same direction. Reach your hands over as far to the right as you can, and then roll over onto your left side. Your left shin is in front, sweep the left arm over sideways to your right. And then repeat to the other side, hands to the left, roll over into your right side, fluidly, vertebra by vertebra, use your core to pull up, and then your right shin is in front, sweeping the right arm over sideways to the left. I hope your brain tingles as much as mine is. To rest, bring your legs out in front, and on the exhale, fold forward. Try this exercise a few times and see how well you do. And I thank you for joining me. Namaste.